guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna go into a perfume from Joe Malone that I've been testing out for a while. It is the Wild Bluebell Cologne. So this cologne is so unique in my opinion. I've been wearing this on a day-to-day -day basis. It just makes me feel so clean and it's like, I haven't smelled anything like this before, so that's why I was like so shook when I smelled this one in particular. As I've said before, Jo Malone in the regular cologne collections, I thought it was really kind of, you know, underwhelming, especially with the other ones that I had, but this one is totally different. This, in my opinion, is such a fresh and clean fragrance. It is kind of like a floral scent at the same time. I smell just the bellflower so much. It's one of the top notes. There are also other top notes, such as dewdrop, clove and green leaves and that's why I feel like when you're applying this fragrance it feels like you're walking in nature and that you're just you just took a shower but not in your regular shower it's like you're on vacation and you know like these showers that are in nature like it's literally you're surrounded by trees and everything that's what it smells like it is just so beautiful well, the middle notes from this fragrance there are persimmon and peach which persimmon I'm like Hmm, what is this? I never saw persimmon either. So like this fragrance just has so many like notes that I'm like, what is this? But persimmon, it's weird because when you look at the fruit by itself, it looks exactly like an like a tomato but a little bit more on the orange side and it is a sweet fruit that is mild in taste as well that's what i read online i never tasted persimmon before maybe but anyways it's just a weird fruit overall and it just has a sweet scent to it peachiness in this fragrance i feel like it's a little bit more sweet fruity but not too sweet you know there's like a crease crispiness to it you know when you when you eat a peach it smells fresh, but not too sweet. So I feel like it is a really good blend of all of this and the middle notes are not overpowering the top notes in the perfume. It's not like it peach like in your face. You know, sometimes you smell and you're like, whoa, that is peach. It is just slightly there just to enhance the other notes that are there. So it's just a very beautiful combination. Talking about the base notes, you have musk and then you have powdery notes. So musk is the woody notes at the bottom that's just gonna complement with the leafy, green and fresh notes that are in the perfume. And then you have powdery notes, which complements the rest of the notes to make it like a very clean fragrance. But to me, it's not that powdery. So if you spray on your clothes, the, the notes don't get too powdery. On my skin, it gets a little bit more powdery. So also it depends where you spray the perfume on yourself and it's gonna develop differently on a lot of people. So if you don't like powdery notes, I would suggest avoiding spraying it on your skin because it will transform into a more powdery notes. But on your clothes and everything, the freshness and the bell flowers and everything, this is gonna stay longer than on your skin. And it is definitely a day fragrance. This one is just very light, very feminine, but you can still smell it. It's not like underwhelming, but like if you apply like three, let's say four sprays, um, one, two, three, four, let's say, then you're gonna have a like a trail behind you. Of course, you're gonna be able to smell it. And that's what I love about this perfume is that it is strong enough for me to be able to smell it. And I'm sure that other people smell it too. One time I I think I applied it a little bit too much. <laughs> and then I went in the car and my, my boyfriend was like, oh, it smells like perfume in here, you know? But he actually really likes those light and feminine perfumes. That's one of the perfumes that he likes. Such a nice fragrance. I would wear this as well right after the shower or if I'm going to the gym, you know, you know, because I'm sweating and stuff. <laughs> I want to feel clean and everything. So this is a fragrance that is a safe wear for literally everything. I feel like this is much of of a not a winter fragrance because I feel like winter is more like warm and like deeper fragrances this is more of like a light scent that I would wear in the summer or in the hot weather and it's just gonna look so beautiful it reminds me of you know spring but like the end of spring going into summer like you know that area where you can smell all the plants forming and like growing in the soil and everything plus the rainwater all over but the dew the bellflower, everything is just absolutely gorgeous. So throughout the day, I feel like this perfume kind of lasts a long time on me. It's not like all day long since if I put it on my skin, already it's been like, I would say 10 minutes and I can see that it drank down into a very light, like um, 
musky powdery scent on my skin which I like I feel like it's a very clean scent if it's on my clothes here uh, at the front I can smell all the freshness and everything so if you're spraying it on you if you want to have the full experience of this perfume I highly recommend you spraying it one time let's say on your wrists and then you spray the rest on your clothes to really get all of the notes all together and you're gonna see it's such it's more of a beautiful fragrance if you apply it on your clothes than if you apply it on your skin so it's a clothes fragrance it's oh, it's even a spray like I would buy this and I would spray everywhere everywhere my place like that's one of the perfumes that I would literally spray everywhere I wish that there was like a house spray or like a spray like this but it's just so beautiful it smells so delicious it uplifts your mood you feel like very clean very feminine also it feels like you're in nature it's just it's just oh. This fragrance is something else and I just absolutely love it. And I have other fragrances from Jo Malone and I've been reaching for this one so much that um, it's just really nice. But I like powdery perfumes on me. So if you don't like, this might not be a blind buy for you. But for me, definitely that would be a blind buy for me. I highly recommend this one. This, the full bottle, it's around. It's gonna be written on the screen as always. The Jo Malone perfumes are more on the expensive side. If you buy the mini versions, of course, they are less expensive, but they're still expensive. <laughs> so um, anyways, if you like this review and if you wanna see more of perfumes, make sure to like the video, comment down below which one I've seen next, and also make sure to subscribe to my channel for a whole lot of content every single week on beauty, lifestyle, reviews, and a lot more. So thank you so much guys for watching. I love you guys so much and I will definitely see you in the next one. Bye guys!